It is now time to finally begin the journey for realsies. Hey, what's up, my dokus? Jason here, welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Alright, last time we found out our destiny that we we're the goddess's chosen hero and that Zelda is in fact alive. She just went, she's down on the surface somewhere, and our mission is to follow the guidance of Phi in order to track her down basically so we have to go to the surface let's shove off caught on a loft wing and fly away which actually something i want to do here because i usually name my loft wing and i have my name i have a name for him but i want to let you guys choose his name so down in the comments of this episode I want you guys to, I want you guys to basically give me a name. Give me a name that you'd want me to name the bird. Whichever one I think is good and whichever one has the most votes, if everyone agrees on one, that's the way one we'll choose for the series. I will not, you know, cl give, clarify his name until we get back up to Skyloft for a second time after going through the first area. Master Link, observe. The green pillar before you is a column of light. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relation to the start to Skyloft. It appears that you will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds at the column's base. But yes, anyway, I will not say what his name is until we actually go up to Skyloft. Uh, and this means, like, returning to Skyloft, not just, like, coming up to the, to the, uh... Like, not just coming up to the sky. So we will, we will be coming back up here, returning back up here, but it won't be for a while. So you, you'll have time to, you know, be able to vote and figure out what his name shall be. But anyway, let's head into the surface. Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has been long part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Alrighty, welcome to the sealed grounds. And it looks like we have some new enemies here. We have a Deku Baba and another Deku Baba. This one is moving its mouth vertically, meaning we have to slice down. And when it's horizontally, you slice to the side. Oh, and these guys will actually show that. So we just slice down and then slice to the side. Ooh. And these guys are the ones who dropped it. You got a jelly blob. It may look like a boring wad of gunk, but it's used for all sorts of things. Yes, this is the first introduction of materials in this game. There are plenty of materials to collect throughout the story, and we're going to need to see them all. Actually, we are going to we need to see most of them in order to make some interesting things and upgrades to our equipment, but we won't get into that until it actually happens, or we actually need to do that. Anyway, let's just go ahead and drop down. Oh. 
Uh, let me through, door. Master, I have information to report. While these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by a powerful unidentified force. Thank you, Five, for pointing out the obvious. Well, I guess our only option is to head down towards that dark... darkness... stabby thingy or whatever it is. Young one, child of destiny, descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess, skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Alright, let's do just that. So let's raise our skyward, and bam. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your sk skyward strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your Seracloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lean you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I in detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of your sword. The nearer you are to the object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Hold down C and select Zelda as your dowsing target, and point in the direction you wish to search. Alright, let's test it out. So let's go ahead and set our dowsing to Zelda, and looks like we have an idea where she is. She's in there. So, let's go ahead and use these winds, gusts of wind, to fly up with our sailcloth. And right here, this is where we need to go. Right up here. And head over to the doors, cause... Not only are the doors open, but it looks like Zelda's in here. Welcome to the Sealed Temple. And it looks like Zelda's powers are emanating from here. Oh. Ah, the Traveler descended from the clouds above. 
I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Link. Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive also that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending into the, this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Mm -hmm. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden. Seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue as you do. She set out for Faron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Faron Woods. You will be traveling in an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at the location, and it will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the, at the X and press C to place a beacon. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for the beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. Use your beacons well, and you will f never fear getting lost. Go now, you must head into Faron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you called Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest that was in this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Alrighty, and let's go, go, go. But first things first. Gotta break a few pots. You never know what you're gonna find. Ooh. Actually, we found a fairy. I wanna pick it up. Eh, heck, we'll give the description. You found a fairy. This playful spirit will play six of your hearts. Yeah, you can catch it in your bottle, and I do want to do that, but right now we have some good stuff in our bottles that I'll use up later on. We're gonna take out all these, get ourselves some rupees, which is actually very nice. Now we'll head over here, where I believe... Yes, the chest is... We'll take the contents of the chest. Ooh, rupee. Alright, so let's do it. You got a revitalizing potion. This potion fully restores your sealed gauge and also restores four hearts. But it also gives us our second empty bottle, which is very nice. So, let's head outside. Well, there's that beacon that lady was talking about. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take care of some of this grass, grab some more rupars. Actually, I gotta say rupees because if I say rupars, it's gonna sound like ruper, rupors, and those were things in Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks that would take away your money rather than uh, gaining money. Okay, take care of them or mess the remaining stuff here. And let's continue on. Out of my way, screw it! Get them! Alright, here we go with a new enemy. We have both Koblins! Definitely different from previous incarnations, but heck, they're better than any incarnation, let's be honest. They're a lot smarter. Ooh, get ourselves another first item, Ornamental Skill. Which will be very good to have. And let's go ahead and defeat this last one. Nothing? Okay. Whew, thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey bud, I am a go I am Gokur Gokur the Goron. I don't know how to pronounce that name properly, I guess. It's Gorko, but I can't say it fast. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there is some kind of place above, uh, high up, up above called the Island of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky, or mm. down from this Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it, to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this st statue is special as it is said to have the ability to activate all other statues. The whole thing sounds a bit crazy, I know. But I, for one, believe it is true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head-scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more about it, doesn't it? Ah, sounds like a fellow could search to the... of an ancient cultures here. All right, bud. Have you you had better brace yourself because I am about to blow your mind. So get this: people actually live on the Sky Island, and they get around by flying on the backs of the huge birds that are way bigger than the birds down here. Up there, there, everyone refers to the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a peaceful society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. This island of the goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. This place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it would be filled with wonder we do not have here. The buildings are made out of gold, and endless springs of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy, plump, heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magical wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather, oh, the weather, but not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the island of the goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong, it is beyond amazing. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Oh, that's that so, bud. I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess I can wait. Whoa! What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Yes, it did, and if we go right to it, we have our thing, we can save. Yeah, there we go, we can save, we can go to the sky, we're not gonna do any of that. Instead, we're just gonna keep moving forward. Ooh, excuse yourself. Go ahead and push this log.
Oops. And move this way up. And we made it to our beacon area. Which I'm actually going to remove this beacon. And let's head into Pharaoh Woods. You got it, fine. So, going to continue using our dowsing ability. It appears she's actually pretty close, so we're not that far behind her. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the, or touch this statue because that'll activate it, giving us a landmark to use to, if we want to fly back down to this specific area. Let's go ahead and head to here, and it looks like we got some poke coblins ahead. Excuse yourselves, dudes. We're gonna have to take you down, sirs. Let's look at this, and let's go ahead and talk to this mysterious thing. Huh? It's gone quiet. Ew! No, there's a green one! I didn't even know they getting came in green. Don't hurt me, Cupie. Master, I pick a highly interesting spike and dowsing readings from the creature you had just encountered. Yes, Master, based on the creature's characteristics, I must conclude that it is a peaceful forest-dwelling animal known as a Kikwi. Kikwis are intelligent beings capable of speech. However, such a creature could obviously not be confused with Zelda. It is unclear why a creature would elit... would elicit a dowsing response attuned to Zelda. You should follow the creature and investigate this phenomenon. Yes, and the only way to do that because we cannot slide, walk up slopes. Run up the slope! Okay, now we're just going to do this and. Looks like I gotta chase him down. But she appears to be behind this mushroom, so we're gonna sneak up and slice him in dice. Looks like we got another Deku Baba. I'm gonna take him down. Excuse you. Rupee! Also, another thing before I get out, I'm gonna activate this statue because it seems to be, as the bane of my existence, existence I always forget to do this statue, or I always forget to, to take care of this statue, and it's like the one I usually need every time I play the game, and it's weird. Like, I don't know why I forget it, but I do. Slice. Okay, where do you go now? Oh, there he is. It spotted me again! Queen! 
Huh? You don't want to eat me, Queen? And come to think of it, why did you fight off all the, those red monsters? Kipui, I'm Maki. I am a Kikui. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird, Kiko. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you. But that was one was a girl. What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, Kiwi, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those red guys were after her, but she escaped with the Kikui Elder. Master, I have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of the Kikui known as Maki. Please confirm on your, or please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikui most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to the previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing to search for Zelda. You really spooked me, Kui. You seem so. You keep some very strange company, friend. Kiko, it sounds like you're on, on. You're set on finding this friend in the elder. If you're heading that way anyway, we would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Cheer up, Kiku. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. Alrighty, and taking care of that, we're also gonna push this down and get ourselves another new item. Which is an Amber Rose. Very nice. Very, very good. Hello, Gucci, man. Come on. Alright, go ahead and take care of this other Deku Baba. Or two Deku Babas, I guess. We technically can take care of this one easily just by. Picking up a boulder and sliding it down. Didn't really give us anything, sadly. Womp womp. Doesn't like there's anything over here. We got another uh, Bokoblin. Which I would gladly take your spoils, sir. And we have a Deku Scrub. Bam. He did damage my shield a little bit, but I'm not too worried because we have that first restoration potion. So if I absolutely, if it absolutely comes down to it, we can use that to fix up my shield. All right, go ahead and grab another amber relic. Which, ugh, as you saw, that we just picked it up. Trust me, that's not going to be the same thing throughout the entire story. But we haven't had an experience where we had to worry about it, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Grab another rupee. Smash these down, get ourselves a heart. Very nice. You gonna give us another rupee? Nope, that's fine. Another Deku Baba. And he gives us a heart. Alright, gotta get a running start. Run, jump, and jump, and let's go talk to this big butt. I am Bakcha, the Kikui Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage, Kui. You are clearly a master woodsman. Zelda. Ah, the cr girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yes, she was with me, Kui. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe. Kui, the shock and worry was, has made my memory of the girl quite hazy. What? You say you've met some of my people, Kui? 
Hui Soma Maki is safe, eh? Ah, but the monsters, they are still looking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Three Kikuis are still unaccounted for. Can I ask you to search for them and make sure they are safe, Kui? I am worried sick of my fellow Kikuis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to, Kui. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikui Elder is an unfortunate setback. But she may still he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% pr probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis of for the Elder. To expedite your search for these forest dwelling creatures, I have added Kikwis as a dowsing option. Do you need an explanation on how to switch dowsing option targets? Additionally, I will mark any Kikwis you discover on your map and disable dowsing or readings for them. That way, you will not revisit the same Kikwis. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing Kikwis. Alright, so we can now switch over here, which is just pressing C and then moving from this one to this one. And we now have our locations of where we can find some Kikwis. And next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're going to do just as the Elder said and search for his missing Kikwis in hopes that he will give us details on the whereabouts of Zelda. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. It truly helps out a ton. Make sure you subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later.